Hi guys, can you guess what's in here? No? Well, here are some clues. One, it's going to give me months of fun interacting and learning. And two, my dad will like it, not less than me. Still don't know? Well, it's okay. While you're thinking, let's talk a little bit about more about robotics. And and later on in the video, I'll, I'll not only show you what's in here, and I promise I will, but also we'll have a lot of fun with it together. Robotic toys have become one of the most popular toys on the market. There's a lot of robotic toys whenever you go shopping, and they're not cheap. Robotic toys were made just for fun, for people that have fun with them. But most of them, but uh, most of them, are are for people to learn how to how to build them, how to program them, and and how to. Well, ob they were made for having fun, obviously also, but they were also made to learn. They were made to learn and teach us me and you all of us to assemble things from different parts to build cool projects to program why are some of the robotic toys great for learning and some are not why are some sets so expensive and does it really worth that money to buy it which sets are better to buy and what for and many other questions about robotics that we're going to talk about and of course after that i'll show you what's inside that box so first advice, you don't need to buy all of them to learn more. The first category is robots that are that look the, th the things that look like robots, I would say, and move they can do some predefined actions like move around, turn and pick something up. But the bad thing is you can't make you can't make them learn something new. And what I mean by not able to learn is that the factory that produces them, you can't program the robots. You can only do what the factory makes them do. So after all, you can't do anything with them except for what the company made them do. Like click something to make a cat a cat meow. Maybe you think something else, but honestly, honestly, I don't think these toys are actually for robotics because they're just regular, they're just regular toys for playing. And if your goal is to learn something in robotics, then I wouldn't recommend to buy that type of toy. Another category is robotic toys that you can program to do other things. Maybe some of those are three-in-ones, like when you can build three things out of one set. Those are pretty cool also. That, and you can program them also. Or maybe it's one of them that you can only that you can't modify in, and you can only program them. I have some of those. Two of mine are Cosmo and Sphero. Let's go see them. Hi, friends. Have you subscribed to Zachary? Whoa! I see a few disadvantages for this type of toy. One is that you can't modify them or upgrade them that much. And another one is that is that you it's like a black box. And what I mean by black box is you can't see the elements or parts or parts used inside the thing inside the toy to make it work and to see what the what those parts do to make the toy move and function which means you can't understand deeply what pro what processes are going on in your toy and the last one, which is my favorite one, is the category that I recommend all of you. And these robotic kits let you create, explore, modify, add, and you can even add you can even add Lego parts to them. Almost anything. You could add features and invent new cool projects. And this is the exact kind of set that I have in my box. And this is why I'm so excited.
spend your mo spend your money wisely, and your goal is to learn how electronics around us work, like smartphones, tablets, and computers. Then, then microcontroller kits like this are what you would want to buy. Friend, your creativity with microcontrollers can be endless. There's so much fun things to program, make, and share. And for every new project, you don't have to buy new sets again and again. You just have to buy some cheap add-ons. You could also find thousands of people in a lot of forums and websites where you could ask them to help you with a project or help you troubleshoot or even share your programs that you made with them. So let's start our fun and open it up. This is a new Parallax Cyberbot kit and this kit includes a few cool components. Microbit itself is a programmable microcomputer. It, you can do many creations with it, ranging from making robots to musical instruments. Doesn't look like a cool toy right now, right? But don't worry and have patience. This little guy can be a brain and even a face of your project. All you need is just to connect it to your computer with the USB port and you can start programming. You can program this with blocks or with one of the most popular programming languages today, Python. JavaScript. This little device comes with a with twenty five programmable LEDs, two buttons. For example, with them, I wrote a program that generates two random numbers and adds them together. Physical connection pins to connect this little brain to your robot body. Or in other, or in other words, input and output. Light and temperature sensors. Accelerometer. This component senses when the micro bit is being moved. It can also detect shake, tilt, and free fall. And I made a small program for for microbit, which is what sometimes I can't pick my pla my flavor of ice cream. So I wrote a small program for microbit to choose. It also has a built-in compass which detects the Earth's magnetic field. Radio. This feature allows you to communicate wirelessly between other microbits. Bluetooth. Bluetooth allows microbit to communicate and control tablets, phones, and other devices. Cyberbot board. The Cyberbot board attaches the microbit model to the robot chassis. It also controls the servo motors. It also interacts with different kinds of sensors and modules. It's like the skeleton, the backbone, and the nerve system in your robot body. The next component is the chassis. This parallax kit comes with easy assembly and light but durable particles. Now let's attach and connect our microbit to our cy to our cyberbot board. So this is what came out of all these parts. It only took me half an hour. As you can see, here's the microbit, here's the cyberbot, and here's the breadboard. Um, here's the chassis, 
the wheels, and here's the power. So what can this robot do? A lot. It can measure distance, it can measure the temperature, it can it can flash its lights, it can it can show LEDs, it can move, it can turn, it can drive and way more things. And another cool thing, no matter how no matter how old you are, 8, 10, 25, or even 90, it's gonna be fun. And you will love it. Okay, I feel like it's too much for just one video. I don't want your brain to blow up with all these ideas. I have lots of parts, components, and projects, so if you want to see what else we can build using this microcontroller set, how to write programs for them, how... how other modules you can attach and add-ons? Let me know in the comments to this video. I just want to make sure that this content is interesting for you and you want more videos about microcontrollers.